Welcome to MTB Cooking. Today we share an easy apple cake, so delicious and made with very simple ingredients. Start by peeling three apples. And afterwards, cutting them into dice. The size of the dice is really to your liking, so you do as you please. Squeezing a bit of lemon juice over the apples will help them not go brown, so this is a really good trick. In a bowl, just beat two eggs with 100 grams of sugar very lightly. And for all the imperial measurements, you can watch below the video. Add in 100 grams of salted melted butter. If you can find salted, it's really the best. And then add in the dice of, of apple. Just lightly integrate them into the mixture. And sift in 125 grams of flour together with one tablespoon of baking powder. And once again, just lightly integrate the dry ingredients in the wet ingredients. Add a pinch of salt. This is also good, even though the butter is salted already. Gives that great extra touch to the sweet cake to have the saltiness. This is so easy, as you see. We make the cake batter in only one bowl. In the bottom of a cake pan or a springform pan, you can just grease the bottom and add a piece of parchment paper and then grease the sides. So the cake will become crispy on the sides and golden brown. And then just add the batter into the cake pan. Add the chopped almonds to the surface and sprinkle with a bit of sugar. And then you have your oven preheated to 170 degrees Celsius and you cook it for 30 minutes. This is the result, a golden brown cake with beautiful sides. And as you can see here, it's a great spongy texture. So really delicious. Just leave it to cool for a bit before cutting it. And then you'll see the beautiful interior of this cake. Wow, that's what we say. We would serve this up with either whipped cream or sour cream, so creme fraiche or maybe even with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. This is a perfect cake. It's so easy to make and it's truly delicious. You can serve this up uh, for a dessert or just together with coffee or tea. There are really no limits, but uh, we can assure you that your guests would love this. Thanks a lot for watching MTB Cooking. Please uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. That will help us to create many more videos. And we'll see you next time in another one. Bye.